Welcome to The Chem Doctor, and this is the third video in the series on strong base, strong acid titrations, otherwise known as uh, simple neutralization reactions. And the goal in this presentation is to teach the viewer how to determine uh, the molarity of an unknown solution of either base or acid. In this example, uh, what we're going to do is work through a problem where we're going to determine the molarity of an unknown NaOH solution. So when the student sets this uh, reaction up in the laboratory, it's going to be structured in the following way. In my lab, we're going to be using uh, a 0.2 molar solution of hydrochloric acid uh, in the burette. And the collection flask, in this case, since we're going to be uh, solving for uh, a, uh, the molarity of, of a solution of NaOH for which the student does not know the concentration, then the volume of the solution that we use in the collection flask uh, is going to have to be per precise. And this is unlike uh, uh, some of the previous labs that were described in the first two videos. So in this case, the student is going to carefully measure out 20 milliliters using a graduated solution of unknown molarity uh, NaOH solution. This is a colorless solution and it will be measured using a graduated cylinder uh, and added very carefully to the to the collection flask. And then like the other neutralizations that we've worked in the lab, uh, the student will also add between four to five drops of BTB solution or bromothymol blue. And uh, I use the acronym BTB. Now remember that once you add the BTB to a basic solution, the coloration is going to be dark blue. So this is what you should see after you've added the BTB, the four or five drops of BTB to the solution of uh, that, that should be a precise volume of 20 mils of, of the uh, NaOH solution for which the student does not know the molarity. In the case of, of the solution in the burette, again, the student has loaded into the burette a 0.2 molar solution of hydrochloric acid, uh, very carefully, very carefully uh, establishing the zero mark at the top of the, of the burette. And remember that the burette holds 50 mils of total solution. So then the student begins the titration, and uh, down here in the lower third of the uh, screen, I've, I'm showing the different colorations of the BTB. And remember that this is a neutralization, so at the end of the reaction, at the point where all of the uh, NaOH has been used up, in, in, at that point in the collection flask, the only two products that will be left are going to be H2O and NaCl, and both of these are neutral. So at the end of this reaction, the pH of what we call the equivalence point is 7. The equivalence point is the, the situation where all of the NaOH is reacted with the HCl. The end point is the place where the color indicator actually changes color. And the end point is independent of the equivalence point. So the end point is the place where the indicator changes color, which happens to be the same point where the equivalence takes place. Now in more advanced classes where you're doing uh, other kinds of titrations, it's entirely possible that the end point and the equivalence point are not going to match up. And I'll leave that issue for actually another video. So getting back to the, to the matter at hand here, we go ahead and we set everything up. So we've care very carefully measured 20 mils of uh, a solution of NaOH that this instructor has given us into the collection flask. We had four to five drops of BTB. 
and then we titrate this to the green endpoint where the pH is equal to 7 and that's how we know to terminate the titration. Now just for the sake of the calculation let's say it takes us 17 milliliters of the 0.2 molar solution of hydrochloric acid to reach the green endpoint. So now let's go ahead and calculate what the actual concentration is of the original solution that was put into the collection flask. So what the student needs to do first is to convert the milliliters into liters that were dispensed. All right, and just to make sure that the video is clear, I'm going to go ahead and write that down. We dispensed 17 mils into the collection flask to get to the green point. So remember, to get to milliliters, you're going to have to take the mils, and you're going to multiply times the conversion factor, remembering that in one liter, there are 1,000 mils. Using unit multiplier method, you can see that the milliliters cancels out. And we're going to end up with 0.017 liters of 0.2 molar solution HCl that was dispensed uh, into the collection flask to get to, to the green endpoint, or sometimes I call it the green point. So to get to the moles of hydrochloric acid that were uh, reacted, we're going to take the volume of the HCl solution that was dispensed and we will multiply it directly times the molarity of the solution. So 0.2 moles HCl per liter. <clears throat> Again, using very careful unit multiplier method, you can see that the liters cancel. And we're going to now have moles of HCl that were reacted uh, to actually get to the equivalence point if you did this carefully. And that's going to be 0 0.0034 uh, moles of HCl. Now remember, and this is one of the cool things about these kinds of uh, simple neutralizations, uh, that the coefficients of the HCl and the NaOH are one to one. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in here though for students who might be having more difficulty with this. So we'll go ahead and we'll put in the mole ratio here. So for every mole of HCl there's one mole of NaOH. So for every mole of HCl there's one mole of uh, NaOH. So moles of HCl cancel here. And that means that, that in the collection flask there were 0.00 three four moles of NaOH in the unknown solution alright so I'm going to underline this and use an arrow to remind the viewer so we've just found the number of moles that were in the collection flask after a very precise and careful transfer of the NaOH solution into the collection flask where we added four to five drops of BTB and then we went ahead and titrated uh, to the green endpoint. All right, now for the last step of this to find the molarity, all right, to find the molarity, we simply have to take the moles of the NaOH solution that we found here and divide by the liters the original volume that was transferred into the collection flask. So we're going to have 0 0.0034 moles of the base, NaOH. And uh, in the collection flask, we had very carefully and precisely transferred 20 milliliters. All right, 20 milliliters. And to get molarity, remember that we need liters. So I'll show that transformation here. It's the same as what we did before to go from 17 mils to the liters. All right, and again, you can see for those that, that are confused about this, how we got to the liters. So it's going to be 0 0.02 liters. 
all right? And then this value, we'll drop it down into the denominator of this fraction. So we have 0 0.02 liters of the original solution that was titrated. And so therefore, when you carry the arithmetic out, the original solution of NaOH that was titrated has to be 0 0.17 uh, moles per liter of NaOH. All right, and using the more formal uh, notation for this, it would be 0 0.17 capital M for molarity in AOH. All right, now, I'd like to thank the viewer for watching the presentation. I hope this helps you with your laboratory work. You can find more videos at www.chemdoctor.org. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.